and Scarborough traffic, uh, Decathlon, zero X-ray, Deltas, entering 35 to take off. Skybar traffic, Sport Cruiser, 140, Bravo Foxtrot, holding short, 35, Skybar. X-ray Delta is taking off, 35, Skybar. Ready? Ready. And X-ray Delta is departing uh, straight out to the north. Thoughtful. Level off, and then what we'll do is have you do a couple of just gentle 30 degree bank turns, nothing extreme. Yeah. And um, turn to left and right and get that <coughs> sense of you know, what it is you're running around the horizon. You know, I don't know what it is from back the back seat, but you know, the edge of the cowling or whatever. And just get a sense of what part of the aeroplane you're using to assess the attitude. And you could do that now. I mean, you could pick a point up ahead that we're going to use as a reference. And then make a turn left or right. Your choice. Okay. I don't see anybody else around here. Yep, looks good. So I think I was just going to see if I could get to 6,000, not quite okay. there. Yeah. Just to see if I can hold my altitude. Sure. I got a peak in the distance there. Yeah, so you're just to 6,000 now. Okay. So throttle, leave yeah. it alone kind of thing? I, I probably wouldn't worry too much about it. We've got 70% power, so we've got plenty of power on. Okay. So I'm just going to make a turn to the right. Yeah. That's nice bank angle right there. Am I climbing or descending? It feels nope. pretty good to me. You're good. You're good. You probably should have just a tad more right rudder. Okay. You can't I, see the ball. But yeah. But uh, just a little bit more rudder, and you'll find that turns you around a bit more too. There you go, perfect, right there. Now that's all good. That's it, right there. And now you're just at that bit of a turn where the nose begins to drop a little, so you want just a little bit more back pressure. Just a tad. Uh. I think I'm coming up on my peak. Yep. Very good. It's going to roll out. And yeah, within 40 feet. Very good. Very nice. So, uh, you want to do one the other way? Sure. So, uh, where is the ball? Like the ball is centered right now. Okay. okay. But, but as you roll, you know, you're going to need a little bit of left rudder. Right. I just would like to get to the point where I can feel it. Sure. And, and I... That will just take a while. Yeah. That's nice. It's about 30 degrees right there. Perfect. That's the one gauge I can't see. Is that right? Yeah. Now you're descending a little bit. So you want a little bit of back pressure. Thank you. 
and as you do that you might even want to take a little bit of the turn out or the bank out good You're about 100 feet low yeah. at this point of the turn. I see that now, yeah. I'm trying to kind of guide the nose along the well, base of the mountain. And that's the right thing to do. It's always a bit deceptive when you have a changing horizon because yeah. of mountains. Yeah, yeah. I can feel that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but still good. 50 feet. Perfect. I missed my heading a little bit. And you need to take a little bit of that rudder out as you then come round. Well, let's right. do that again. That was great. Okay. You okay flying over water here? Do you want me to scoot back to the right? No, this is fine. This is fine here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to the right. Okay. Little bit of right rudder. Very good. That's set up just fine. Now you feel the nose beginning to drop yeah. just a little. Yeah. Is that dropping? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, if you could see the gauge, you'd be in much better shape. <laughs> but <coughs> you're only down 100 feet. Okay, coming up on my peak. Yeah. So. That's all right. Okay, let's just climb up at 100 feet. Then do another one to the left when we get to 6,000. So 6,000, level out. Okay. And now? Left turn, looks good, no traffic. A little bit of left rudder. It's good. How's that? It feels like I'm descending. Just a fraction. Yeah, you just want to take a tiny bit of the bank out and yeah. a little bit more back pressure. Yeah. I can tell it's been a while since I practiced this. Hope you're doing well. Right now, just perfect. my mountain. Well, I actually, very, very close to perfect. I climb a little. Just uh, yeah, 20 feet. Oh, that's all right. That's fun. Okay. It's interesting doing it with a stick versus a yoke. Sure. You know, a totally different sensation. And plus I'm flying with my right hand, which is new. Right. Okay, well let's try just a little bit more bank. Okay. Right turn. I know, whichever way you want. Sounds good. And sometimes, actually, just as a, a, a point here, sometimes what you do before you <coughs> enter a turn, you know, now we can see, supposedly there's nobody around here, but you might want to just look up yeah, yeah. under the wing and then roll in. And we'll have a bank about like that, right? That's so, like a 60, right? Um, probably I, something like I that. I think I've only practiced up to 45. Okay, so we'll... <laughs> and I see I was descending right there. Nice. Well, ball wasn't quite centered all the way, but but why not try in that case 45 degrees to the left? Okay. Your aeroplane. My aeroplane. 
Okay, here we go, left turn. That's nice, bank angle right there. Okay. And obviously you have to pull back a little bit yeah, more. Yep. Yeah. How am I doing? And, and you've got a little bit too much left rudder at this point. Okay, thank you. But that's very nice. Very nicely done. Come on. There we go. Okay, coming up on my peak. There you go. Ah, I missed it a bit. Well, I, you, it was very good, actually. And you actually see felt just there, that bump, that he, was our weight. Hey, all right. Yep. My brother told me about that. He could hit his bump. Yep. Um, I try to unload the wing a little bit before I roll back out, but it's a different sensation than with the Cessna yoke. Yeah. You know, I just ease off the back pressure. Well, it's also it's more sensitive, but so you're 6,000 here. Why not to try one to the right? Okay. Same sort of deal. Okay, here we go. A little bit more right, brother. Ah. I can feel that nose dip. Yeah. And when you're in a more steep bank turn like that, the thing to do is take a bit of the bank out before yeah. you pull back too hard. Yeah. Just otherwise you find you tighten the spiral if you got the nose down. Right. Yeah. Okay, coming up on my heading. Yep, not bad. Now, uh, just as a coordination flight, exercise, I've got the airplane. Um, so just head up here a little bit. Now, you know, obviously, you, you know, you can, you can do this just to get a sense of, you know, the sensitivity of the rudder, right? So you've got, it's your, you can feel that. Now. You would have done the, some people call it a Dutch roll. Like, yeah, Dutch roll. But, you know, so where you're going to do this, and you want to try and coordinate to keep the ball reasonably centered. And this is a great way of getting a feel for that. <laughs> it also, you know, as you begin to look more at something like aerobatics, uh, you know, it will then also allow you to make more coordinated maneuvers. Are you okay? You're not sick from that? No, no, it's fine. Good, okay. So, I mean, I made it a little bit more extreme there just to sort of prove the point. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, just do some gentle ones like that, just like that. And just get that sense of sort of coordinating the, your feet. And if you look straight ahead, you can have a sense of whether the airplane's yawing. Yeah. And the other place to look is you look at the wingtip, you know? Is it going straight up and down? Or is it going from side to side? Yeah. And so why not just do a little bit of that? Just do it gently and you'll have a nice sense of the feel of the coordination of the controls. Okay, here we go, to the right. Just try and make it a pretty fluid movement. So, the way I'm used to doing that is to lead with my feet a little bit, but this well, feels funny. It depends on the aeroplane. Yeah. So, the Cessna 172 has got quite a lot of adverse yaw. So as you put that control down, you know, you're gonna notice it. Um, I haven't really thought so much about this aeroplane, but you just do what feels right to keep that ball in the center. If you could see the ball, it would help, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but because you can't feel see like the ball. I'm all over the place. Because, oh. Well, you are. <laughs> but because the best way to do it, look at the wingtip. Yeah. Right, now watch as I'm doing this. You see that wingtip just goes up and down. Right. Like an elevator, right? And that's just like the ball. Right, same deal. So, I mean, I've got a slight advantage, I guess. You, you're about the back training edge of the wing, aren't you there? Uh, yeah. So you could see you getting a line straight up and down. Yeah, yeah. That's the best way to do it here. So your aeroplane. Okay, my flight controls. And don't be afraid to try and get into a sort of rhythm on it. You know, it's, yeah. even if it's a bit ugly at first, and, and have a look out at that wingtip. I'm watching out front. We're not going to hit anything. Okay, good. Because I am watching the wingtip. Yeah. 
Well, that's actually pretty good. Do that again. Uh, it's funny. I feel like I'm overcooking it almost. Well, just watch the wingtip. Make that wingtip just go straight up and down. Yeah. And, and you know, don't think about the control so much. It's just think about what you're seeing and you control that picture with the controls, right? I mean, don't worry about quite where the controls are. Just put them wherever is necessary to keep that going straight up and down. Okay, I'm gonna go another round here. Yeah, it's a little bit sloppy on the transition, like moving from left to right. Uh -huh. But it does seem like I'm barely touching the rudder. Well, it's because partly because you're not making very rapid control movements and you're also not making, they're not very big control movements because you know the control movement. So feet off the rudder, Okay. you'll see this will be an indication of the yaw of the airplane. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Right, so it has a lot of yaw in it. So that was with no rudder, right. So what you want to do is, you know, as you make a, a more abrupt maneuver like that, you're going to have to push that rudder harder Got it. Yeah. to keep it coordinated, right? <laughs> right there. And, you know, you could just do this all day, and it'd be a really a good exercise. Uh, I'm not sure I could do it all day. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, like I said, I mean, you don't have to be extreme, but do it like this. You don't, don't need a lot of pressure on the controls. And you just want to keep that wing tip going straight up and down. Yeah. Well, what about something like that little square sort of lakeish? ish little Okay, little yeah. Water I like that. Up. I'll just come up alongside it yeah. and start my turn. Yeah, and we'll be out over the lake, but that's okay. We could probably land on it if we needed to. <laughs> Hopefully that won't be necessary. Okay. Am I climbing? Nope, you're good. I've already screwed it up. A little bit more left rudder. Did you oh, sorry, right rudder. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, a bit more right rudder. That might actually help you stay in the turn a bit better. Yeah, I'm overcooking it though already. Cut that corner. Well, let's go round and then try it again. Right rudder. So your altitude is perfect. That's okay, just good. perfect. Yeah, same thing. I feel like I got closer and closer as I circled. Wonder if the guy in the truck down there is wondering what we're doing. He's probably saying, oh, they're practicing turning around the point. <laughs> around his truck. Well, there. Yeah, interesting. Same story, just a big spiral. Yeah. I don't know exactly well, why that is. It's probably because um, you've got just a little bit too much bank in. And <clears throat> I don't know, there may be some wind here, you never know. Um, but... Um, You need to be taking a little bit of that bank out as you go around. 
Yeah, I was just trying not to square off the corners. You're actually making a pretty good turn around the point right now. <laughs> All right, well, that was good fun. Should let we straighten just, out? Let me just take it a minute. I want Go to ahead, your flight controls. Thanks, I got it. It's, um, I mean, that's a good exercise, something I never do. That was kind of fun. Practicing that, and so it's actually a good discipline. It's, uh, I don't think I can do any better than you can. <laughs> I'm just looking at the ground track on four flight. Sure enough, it's a bit of a spiral, but. And of course, once you've got four flights, you know, you, it's uh, one of those things where you have too much information. Yeah. It's like you could pretend you did a better job than that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not very well set up here. Let's see. We can no, see, I, like I said, I'm not any better. Or actually, I'm worse than you. Yeah, that's terrible. In fact, it's so bad, I'm not even going to continue. I'm going to go around again. <laughs> it's fascinating to see the eyes. Yeah. Doesn't look very thick though. It does seem like a bit remote for a place to park your truck. Probably just, well, yeah. who knows, taking, yeah, I want taking a nap. <laughs> well, he was until we got here.
Battle Sky Park Zero, X ray Deltas for the North Refinery on the 45 to 35. It's interesting, I just got a CO level alert on my iPad. Interesting. You don't have the heater on, do you? Yep. Oh. I can turn it off. Stationary 27 Delta Victor. Centerville Interchange 5200 will be setting up for 35 in the Sky Park. X ray Delta is turning base lake 35 Sky Park. X ray Delta Spinal 35. Delta Victor now on the 45 for right 35 and just got hard. Yeah, don't like that tailwheel, Shimmy. Yeah, felt Need it. To tighten it up some more. Well done, beautiful landing. Spoiled an otherwise decent landing. <laughs> 